Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. It's Technifiber, the most improved racket brand over the last couple of years. Very possibly, looking at the Pro Tours, they currently have the world number one of ATP, WTA and men's and women's doubles all using a Technifiber racket. On the ATP, we have Daniil Medvedev endorsing a T-Fight RS-305. He's using an older T-Fight Dynacore, however, with a 95 screen inch head size and an 1819 string pattern with the following specs. On the WTA, Iga Svantec has her own signature model. I was confused when she left her Prince Extreme Tour for the Tempo 298, which was a new model in the Technifiber lineup, but she has shown that it hasn't impacted her game negatively at all, especially with the amazing clay court season she had this year. Men's doubles world number one, Joe Salisbury uses an older T-Fight version. I'm not sure if it's a VO2 Max or a T-Fight Dynacore, but he has been with Technifiber for quite a while. A new sign-up for Technifiber is the women's doubles world number one, Elise Mertens. She uses the Iga 298 Tempo. I'm not sure if she customizes it differently from Iga, but Mertens has kind of been all over the place in terms of rackets and brands over the years. Let's see if she stays with Technifiber. A few words about Technifiber might be suitable. It was founded in 1979 in Fougerolles, Paris, France by Thierry Maison, a huge tennis fan. His mission was to create products that meet the specific needs of tennis players at every level of the game. So in 1979, he co-found what was then major sport with former Formula One racing driver Hermano da Silva Ramos. 1983, it's a big year for Technifiber. They're the first strings they create made in France. Revolutionizes the market, they say themselves, with polyurethane. Uh, it's uh, still made in France 100% to this day, and Technifiber is perhaps first and foremost a string brand. They do many, many good strings, especially on the multi-filament side of things. In 1985, they launched the first stringing machine from Technifiber. They become the official stringer of several ATP tournaments thereafter. And in 2004, quite some time later, they launched their first tennis rackets. They kind of went into squash in the beginning, and they're still one of the biggest squash brands. But now they go into tennis with the T-Fight range, and that's still going strong, the T-Fights still today. Technifiber were actually acquired by French fashion giant Lacoste in 2017. And I must say that their design has improved significantly. Their cosmetics of their frames are uh, really impressive. They're really classy frames. They produce rackets of high quality, excellent comfort thanks to some foam filling. I think the category they would might need to put some work is the power and spin category where they have the TFX1, which is a decent frame, but I still think they, they could do more there. Uh, but they've done an impressive journey over the last couple of years and might now pose a real threat to the leading brands in the category Head Babla and Wilson obviously will take time. I notice for my for my own videos, which videos get the most interest. And anytime I review a racket from Head Babla and Wilson, it's a big deal. Any smaller brands, it's not quite as uh, interesting to most of you. But I definitely think Technifiber has earned the right now to be looked at and considered by many, many different players. Their recent TF40 line and the T-Fights are excellent. I've really enjoyed their products in the last couple of years, and I think they will keep doing more excellent frames. So keep your eyes on Technifiber. They have the four world number ones now in women's doubles, men's doubles, WTA, and ATP. So an impressive journey from this French brand. Have you tried Technifiber rackets? Let me know what you think about them in the comments below. Big thanks as always to the sponsor of this episode, the singles playbook from Fuzzy Yellow Balls, a great tool to learn strategy, understand tennis tactics, get some different plays that you can use to win more points, win more matches. You're gonna level up your game for sure. I've used this manual myself. You have videos accompanying the different examples in the book. And I must say it can be a game changer to a lot of players. So check that one out, the link in the description. Other links in the description, if you use them, I might get a small commission if you buy anything. So please do that. That helps Tennis Nerd stay alive. And if you want to support in other ways, join my patreon.com slash tennis nerd. That is all now. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.